Good afternoon, New London. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I'm Riley Grogan. And I'm Cameron Watson. Today's broadcast is full of entertainment with the last band and choir concert with awards, a joke-filled section, and a look into what people are planning to do with their summer. All coming to you right after this. Great people, great care. Great River Health Systems is dedicated to improving the region's health by providing high quality care, world class customer service, and uncompromising value for our patients and their families. Great River Medical Center is located on South Gear Avenue in West Burlington. As we wrap up the year, various activities are finishing up too. The band and choir had their last concert this week, where awards were given as well. Peyton Protzman has an inside look. This is Peyton Protzman, and on Monday, the choir and band students gathered together for their final concert of the year. I was able to catch up with a few of the students to see what they thought about choir and band of the year and their accomplishments they've made. Hi, I'm Cassie Belmer. Um, I'm a junior. I've been in choir for three years, and I thought our choir concert went really good. We've improved a lot over the three years. The choir sings songs they will be singing at large group while the band played songs from their trip to Nashville. Both band and choir joined each other at the end of the concert to sing, a, sing and play a song they performed in Tennessee together. After the concert was over, students received multiple awards for things like solo and ensemble, lettering and earning bars, and also a senior was chosen for each band and choir for being an outstanding student. Hi, my name's Bree. I'm in, I've been in band for eight years. I played the flute. I lettered in band this year. Hi, I'm Cameron Watson. I play the alto saxophone and I've been in band since sixth grade. The thing I'm gonna miss most about band is the time that we get to spend with the fellow band members. This has been Peyton Protzman for Tiger Television. Everything sounded great, everyone. Congratulations on a great year. Earlier this year, many of you enjoyed our weekly riddles, so this week Cameron Watson and I decided to, to make one more joke feature before the end of the year. Let's take a look. <laughs> What's the best way to carve wood? Um, to cut it up. I don't know. With the stick? <laughs> I don't know. Whittle? Yeah, I cannot guess that one. With an axe. A chainsaw. Garb wood? Whittle by whittle. Whittle by whittle? <laughs> what did the traffic light say to the car? Stop. 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 <laughs> Go. Slow down. Stop. 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 I don't know. <laughs> don't look. I'm changing. <laughs> Just. What do you call a guy with a rubber toe? A mannequin? I don't know. Rubber toe guy? Booty. Roberto. <laughs> Why did the elephant get kicked out of the public pool? I don't, for manning? They yeah, drank dropping, all of it? Dropping. His trunks were dropping. Uh, they're too big? I don't know. Because they kept dropping their trunks. <laughs> That's what the answer was. Okay. <laughs> Why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Why can't you? I don't know. Because, because the pee is silent? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the pee is silent? Yep. Yeah. Because the pee is silent. Because the pee is silent. How do hens stay fit? I don't know. Laying eggs? 
work them out. They work out. They always. They chicken around. They exercise. Knock knock. Who's there? Impatient cow. Impatient cow. Moo. What do you call a pony with a cough? I don't know. A little horse. <laughs> what starts with tea is filled with tea and ends with tea. I feel Teapot. Bad. <laughs> What's the smelliest joke? A cheesy one. <laughs> Why did the cow cross the road? Right. He wanted to see the movies. Okay. Why isn't Cinderella good at soccer? Because she ran away from the ball. How do you know if, if a hippopotamus is in your oven? The door won't close. <laughs> what do you call a laughing motorcycle? I don't know. A Yamaha. <laughs> this is man Cameron Watson and Riley Grogan. Back to you. If I say so myself, those jokes were pretty good. The school year is coming to a close with summer vacation almost here. There are many different ways you could spend your summer, whether it's by reading a lot of books or playing sports. Ethan Hendrickson caught up with students and teachers to see how they plan on spending their summer. This is Ethan Hendrickson reporting for Tiger Television. I caught up with students and staff to see what they wish to do this summer and what they plan to do this summer. What I really wish I could do this summer is go to visit an old friend in Germany, but I'm lucky because she's going to come and visit here this summer. This summer I wish I could go on a bunch of road trips and travel the country, but what I'll probably end up doing is working and visiting family. I plan to spend quite a bit of time with my family. Uh, we will go to the Henry County Fair, have a lot of trainings this summer for work, for school, and plan to go down to the Lake of the Ozarks a time or two. My favorite summer memory is going to the State Fair every year since as long as I can remember actually. I wish I could go to Canada to watch hockey. I wish this summer I could go skydiving and travel a lot. What I wish I could do this summer is uh, to graduate Navy boot camp as an E4 and to also get my driver's license. What I plan to do this summer is disc golf a lot, go watch uh, Cardinal baseball games, and go up to Chicago. What I plan to do this summer is to make it through A school, which is a Navy school, and to be able to start my life in the Navy and go on my first deployment on a destroyer. What I wish to do this summer, I would like to get married back home in Ecuador. Um, and that is exactly what I'm doing. What I, what I plan to do this summer is play baseball. And after that, we're going to Costa Rica for a couple of weeks for my honeymoon. What I plan to do this summer with, is go to Washington, D.C. with my family. My favorite summer memory is my backpacking trip throughout Asia. Um, we visited about five countries. Uh, Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Um, this summer, I wish I could go back down to Gulf Shores, Alabama with my family. What I wish to do this summer is to go to Green Bay for spring training. This summer, my plans are to work as a CNA at Danville Care Center, take care of my puppy, and prepare for college. This has been Ethan Hendrickson reporting for Tiger Television. Back to you guys. So Cameron, what are your plans for the summer? I'm planning on going to the Ozarks for vacation. And that's pretty much it. All right. Now I'm looking to this week's events. Tonight, the choir students will attend large group on Monday conference golf at Schieffer starting at 9.30. JV and varsity boys soccer at Meepo starting at 6.30. Also senior awards night in the high school auditorium starting at 6.30. On Tuesday, a conference for middle school girls and boys track in Central Lady starting at 4.30. JV and varsity boys soccer at Danville starting at 5. <laughs> on Thursday, grades 5 through 8 solo contest in the high school auditorium starting at 6.30. A school girls and boys state qualifying track meet in a boys soccer conference. We'll see you next week for a special e senior episode on Tiger, Tiger Television. Television.
It's like, I feel a blooper reel coming on. I'm fine with that. Ouch. Inquire. What? It's all messed up. Damn. Hey, it's your turn, I think. Oh, today's broadcast is for you. If I say so myself, those are pretty good.